We're talking about healthy nutrition and eating right now with Karen Martell. Karen Martell is with Karen Martell Nutrition. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Yes. Tell me a little bit about what you do. So I run a nutrition business, um, helping women specifically. I help them to lose weight through non-traditional means. Um, I'm a firm believer that it's not just about the food that you put in your mouth and it's more about for women especially, it's more about our hormones, um, our stress, our digest, digestive system, our emotions that really drive us to eat more or um, are causing weight gain or health problems. So I kind of look at it from a very holistic point. And this isn't something you just picked up out of interest five years ago. No. Growing <laughs> up, you had your own struggles. Yes, I did. I struggled immensely for a good portion of my life with eating disorders, um, always looking for that next best, you know, quick fix diet that I think every woman looks for in life. And I finally realized that it's, like I said before, it's not just about the food that you put in your mouth. And I went on a very long journey, many years it took me, and I kind of came to this understanding that it took a number of things to help me to get to a place where I was comfortable in my own body. And so you, you're a believer that every woman's body has sort of a different chemical makeup and mm -hmm. you will help a woman or a, a participant in, in your program figure out what the right process is for them. Yeah, I call it find your personal weight loss code. Right. Because yes. it's going to take all these different elements and actually everybody even is going to take different foods. Some people do well with certain foods and other people don't and those foods could be making somebody gain weight. So it's about trying to figure out and what you should be looking for that could tell you whether or not these foods are working for you or not. What are some of the biggest fallacies? that you oh. come across. I mean, obviously I know that about dieting. Diet, dieting might work in the short term, but you gain more in the long term. We know that. Well, 95% of diets fail. And I'll tell you why, because 95% of them are only about calories in, calorie out, how much exercise are you doing? They're short term, they're based on willpower. And I'll tell you right now, willpower always runs out. Mm -hmm. So they don't work, they fail. Mm -hmm. And because that's wrong. You know, I always say, look back a few generations, and I'll tell you what, your grandma or your great grandma was never wearing a Fitbit to lose weight. She was never calorie counting. There's no such thing. And there was no obesity rates. It was less than 4% before the 1970s. That's crazy. So whatever they were doing <laughs> was probably right. <laughs> there, of course, we have different things coming at us now, and that's sure. kind of where I come in to say, like, our world's not the same. But what we think is going to help us lose weight is usually wrong when it comes to that old um, belief system of calorie in, calorie out, exercise more. And that's what mo majority of medical doctors even tell clients right now is right. that. And it's just completely wrong. How does it work? Somebody phones you up and says, I'd like to come and meet with you and find out what my personal code is. They walk in your office, what happens? We sit down for an hour and a half, actually. <laughs> it's gone longer and longer as the years have gone on. Sure. Because I feel that there's so much more to it than just like, here's what I eat, Karen. Right. It really has to come down to where, you know, happiness level. How happy are you in your life? What's not making you happy? And actually, let's look at fixing those things first so that the eating part can come easier. Mm -hmm. So we go over everything. We go over the, your hormone state. What's your digestive system like? How much are you pooping in a day? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like things like that. It's all a part yes. of Yes. How much do you work? How many kids do you have? What's your lifestyle like? How stressed out are you? Mm -hmm. stress, will, <laughs> stress will impact your weight more than anything else. And mm -hmm. women are like, what? Oh, I'm mm. supposed to take time for myself? Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, if you did, you probably lose weight. Crazy. <laughs> we have about a minute left, but I know you're doing some special things over the Christmas season. Yes. So right now I'm doing a huge fundraiser. I'm giving away 500, which is a big number, of my signature program called the 30 Day Body Reboot, which is exactly what we just talked about. It is kind of a first step into that direction of trying to find your weight loss code. And so I'm going to take this group of 500 people through a step-by-step -step process in January. It'll run from January 7th to February. February 3rd, we, um, you're going to get a meal plan, I'm going to be doing live hosts every single week on Facebook, we've got guest speakers, we've got $2,000 worth of prize giveaways, which are amazing, mm -hmm. and in return I'm asking that if you register that you also then pay it forward and you donate to a very special cause that means a lot to me, and it's called Because I Am a Girl Foundation, which helps raise money to uh, educate women around the world, bring them out of poverty, because girls usually have a worse time than boys do, yep. unfortunately, and to stop childhood marriages.
which is a big issue. And this Good impacts everybody worldwide. So Good for you. You're paying it forward. You're going to get other it people forward. to pay it forward. And yep. everybody else is going to be happy as a result of this chain that's going through. I hope so. <laughs> Good for you, Karen. Merry Thank Christmas you. to Merry you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. A lot of people out there don't know their own personal weight loss code. If this is something that interests you, uh, this might be a great start to 2018 if you pick up the phone and give Karen a call. KarenMartell.com as well. Her email, phone number, 571-1142. We're back after a quick break. Stay with us.